Amy, it's Carl. Thanks so much for sharing this puzzle, this challenge of clients rescheduling and sort of not following through. This this one's really hard. Like I have deep empathy for the problem because I've faced it too. And the only thing I found helpful is to, and this isn't like an immediate fix. In fact, it's going to feel like an unsatisfactory answer, but it's literally all I've got is to think really carefully about how you could, and it, sometimes it's subtly, communicate the value of getting these things done. And let me let me give you an example. Like, here's a here's a trick I've used in my own head to try and do this. Um, whenever I'm writing an email about right, like coming to the meeting or following through with the you know, signing the beneficiary designation form or making an appointment with the trust attorney to get things titled correctly, you know, all of those things that are like really, really important to us and our job. And they should be important to the client, but they're just never urgent. I mean, that's that's the other thing that's super helpful to me is to understand the difference between important and urgent. The work you're doing is incredibly important and it's almost it's almost never urgent. Like you don't run an emergency room. So if you just have that mental framing, that's helpful. But whenever I'm communicating about really important things that aren't urgent, I always try to do it in a way. And again, deep empathy. This isn't easy. It's not a it's not a quick fix. It takes time. But I always try to do it in a way that I always try to write the request or say the thing in a way where the client would say thank you. Like, um, you know, for a meeting, like, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Client, this is in an email, Mr. and Mrs. Client, I know how important making good decisions about money, and you could even insert specific things. I know how important it is to you to make sure that, um, you know, let's say you're talking about investments. I know how important it is to to you to make sure that your investments are aligned with what you told me was important. You know, time outside, using my statement of financial purpose. Hey, Carl, we've got a meeting coming up. I know how important it is to make sure We've got a meeting coming coming up where we're going to cover investments. I know how important it is to make to you to make sure your investments are aligned with what's important to you. Parentheses, time with your family mainly outside. So I've really focused the meeting on that and we'll be prepared to cover that. And in fact, I and given how busy you are, I've I've tightened it down. It's going to be between 40, 45 and 60 minutes. I'll see you on Wednesday. So that's packed with things where I as a client would get that and say, "Oh, geez. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I, I'm not saying it works. I'm just saying that if you can if you can think through all your communication subtly over time and shift it to what's what's the benefit to the client and say it in a way that's subtle enough that they would be like, oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope that's helpful. I know this one's a struggle. Just keep working at it. Keep chipping away. You're doing great. I know the impact you're making, so I know it can be frustrating. Talk to you soon. Bye.